Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is October 9th, 2023, and we are in the Old Testament, and we are in the book of First Kings. We're going to read chapter 4 today. Uh, so Solomon is, is fully now in charge. He, he's the king. Everyone is bowed to him. All of his enemies are gone. So what does his kingdom look like? And, and that's basically what this chapter is going to tell us. And we contrast that to David's kingdom. Uh, you know, when we were looking at David's administration, it was generals and, and mighty men and the army. Looking at Solomon, and, and we're seeing more of the domestic things that have to be taken care of. So Israel as a, as a nation is starting to put down its roots. Jerusalem is its capital. Uh, it's going to start expanding from there and becoming the, the, the big kingdom under Solomon. At the height of, of uh, an Israel-Judean kingdom. So let's just go ahead and we're going to read 1 Kings chapter 4. So King Solomon was king over all Israel. And these were his officials. Azariah, the son of Zadduk, the priest. Elahoraph and Ahijah, the sons of Shisha, scribes. Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahilud, the recorder. Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, over the army. Zadduk and Abiathar, the priest. Azariah, the son of Nathan, over the officers. Zabud, the son of Nathan, a priest and the king's friend. Eshiot over the household and Adoniram, the son of Ada, over the labor force. Solomon had 12 governors over all Israel who provided food for the king and his household. Each one made provision for one month of the year. These are their names, Ben-Hur in the mountains of Ephraim, Ben-Dekar in Makaz, Shadbim, Beth Shemesh, and Elan Beth Hanan, Ben-Hesed in Aruba, to him belongs Soka and all the land of Hefer. Ben Abinab in the region of Dor, he had Tepha and the daughter of Solomon his wife, Baana the son of Ahulud in Tanakh, Megiddo and all Beth Shehin, which is beside Zeratan, below Jezreel from Beth Shehin to Abu Mehala, as far as the other side of Joknam. Ben Geber in Ramoth Gilead, to him belong the towns of Jir, the son of Manasseh in Gilead. To him also belong the region of Argob in Bashan, sixty large cities with walls and bronze gate bars. Ahinadab, the son of Edo in Mahanaheim, Ahimaz in Naphtali, he also took Basmeth, the daughter of Solomon, his wife, Baana, the son of Hushai in Asher and Alath, Jehoshaphat, the son of Peru in Issachar, Shimei, the son of Elah in Benjamin, Giber, the son of Uri in the land of Gilead, in the country of Sahon, king of the Amorites, and of Og, king of Bashan. He was the only governor who was in the land. Judah and Israel were as numerous as the sand by the sea in multitude, eating and drinking and rejoicing. So Solomon reigned over all the kingdoms from the river to the land of the Philistines, as far as the border of Egypt. They brought tribute and served Solomon all the days of his life. Now Solomon's provisions for one day was 30 cores of fine flour, 60 cores of meal, 10 fatted oxen, 20 oxen from the pastures, and 100 sheep, besides deer, gazelles, roebucks, and fatted fowl. For he had dominion over all the region on this side of the river from Tiphesh, even to Gaza, namely over all the kings in the side of the river, and he had peace on every side all around him. And Judah and Israel dwelt safely, each man under his vine and his fig tree, from Dan as far as Beersheba all the days of Solomon. Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. And these governors, each man in his month, provided food for King Solomon and for all who came to King Solomon's table. There was no lack in their supply. They also brought barley and straw to the proper place for the horses and steeds, each man according to his charge. And God gave Solomon wisdom and exceedingly great understanding and largeness of heart like the sand on the seashore. Thus Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the men of the east and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan the Ezraite, and Haman, Chalcol, and Darda, the sons of Meho, and his fame was in all the surrounding nations. He spoke 3,000 proverbs, and his songs were 1,005. Also he spoke of trees, from the cedar tree of Lebanon even to the high sap that springs out of the wall. He spoke also of animals, of birds, of creeping things, and of fish. And men of all nations, from all the kings of the earth, who had heard of his wisdom, came to hear the wisdom of Solomon. May God bless the reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.